Hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Today we'll be doing Tomb Raider and the boss of this world. Please don't have en like Engine or Cortex pop up again. I guess because Engine is technically Cortex's right hand man, that it wouldn't have a, uh, like a cutscene again, eh? Just, just the one and then the one when you get to the boss. Yeah, only 88 boxes here, and I believe this is actually a really easy level, but we do get introduced to the Spike Sarcophagi, um, mummies. Now, just don't be in the water when it's at full, because Crash will apparently drown, because he can't hold his breath for five seconds, but other than that, the water mechanic in this game is really easy to deal with, and these shield guys just slide. Eh, eight boxes and already at a checkpoint. <laughs> okay. I believe. Boink. Um, any other secrets here? I believe what the uh, death tornado spin means is you're supposed to actually come back to that and then like spin, but I'm not sure. Okay. I believe this is just metal. Yeah, because that's why the crates were underneath it, you know? And just destroy these. Not really a fan of these uh, five ones. Three, four, and five, just because they're time consuming. And boom. Let's see. Oh, that's why. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Have <laughs> the water phase through the uh, ground, that's funny. Okay, anyways. Whoop. I guess we don't really need that for anything else, so let's do it now. Yay. I wonder if you can, like. Ah, oh, I can't really destroy them under. You can keep hearing the metal, the, the thing pop. I don't know why, but it's still popping. So, three, four, and five. And then one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. Alright, now let's try this again. Fuck! I like his Rainmaker thing. And hey, I just realized the one per fruit we're still leaving when we exited the bonus. So maybe this, uh. What the? Dude, you're supposed to double jump. So I guess the level itself is easy, but not the bonus. I don't know if you can actually die in the bonus, though, and it'd be fine for getting 100%, or to, if there's a death platform. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, if you listen carefully in the background, you can hear it keep going pop, pop, pop. Because I believe it's like just because of your location, so it's like, eh, whatever. Eh. Eh, 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 ah! Okay, can I actually... Can I actually maybe get up on there? You know. Oh, perfect! And then I believe this one can actually trigger all of them, right? So let's see if it does. And it did! So that actually worked out better for us. It's, it's, like I said, the Death Tornado Spin isn't the best ability ever. Like, it's a good ability, since, you know, you can use it to, like, do awesome stuff. But it does have its, like, flaws. So, yeah, we got an Aku Aku. And the... God, that bug is loud. But this world does have some... Pr or this boss does have some pretty cool mechanics. I just really, really like this level and, uh, the boss. Plus, I didn't mind the uh, Coco flight level there. Woo! Haha! <laughs> Biatch! You're dead. These things don't sink in the water, so you're safe, you know? And it's just a free one up. Oh, god damn it. Oh no, that looks like a death platform. Yep! It is a death platform. Now we're safe to die! But I was not looking forward to this. 
Oh, there's a lot of nitro here. Shh. But I actually, never mind. I believe this death platform is like a really easy one to deal with, though. Especially since you can literally just keep jumping from safe zone to safe zone. The only thing really is that spiky uh, mummy guy that pinched me in the wall, apparently. I was not expecting him to pinch me there. Do, 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 do. Almost, almost drowned there, but overall that didn't go too bad. Wow, that was easy. Come on, man, that's a joke, right? Bet you that closes eventually. So I don't know if it does. Cause you don't hear it close, so maybe, maybe not. The only issue with the water is it does slow you down when it gets deep. Yeah, there's a door right down there. And if there's a portal here... Yeah, now we just die because we'll keep the blue gem. And since there are no uh, boxes there, we just uh, continue on. See? Overall, not that hard. Like, once you get the color gem or the second gem, like, you can't complete the rest of the level, then you just wait. Man. Damn it! I thought I could cheese it. Apparently that one moves a lot faster than I was predicting it to. You can go back on the death platform, but there's literally no reason unless you just want to beat the level that way. Because I actually believe that that part's actually easier than this part. If you're impatient, that is. Because on the death platform path, you can actually, you know, just do the level pretty much. Whoa. By like bum rushing it. For the most part. Oh yeah. Why do I hear a bu oh he's over there? Hello. Boink. And Sir Buggy! Sup scarab! Oh god, this our spin lasts longer even when we don't keep pushing it. Hey, checkpoint. Sweet! Which I like Call of Duty wall running ability or Titanfall wall running ability. Okay, we're gonna want to push. We're gonna want to slide at him from the left. That way, he doesn't slide into the uh, TNT or nitro. I mean, not TNT. Come on. See, that's a long, long run there through like the dangerous waters. God, Crash! You were supposed to double jump. Why didn't you double jump, man? Man. Boink. So we just gotta wait so long. I wonder if Crash gets dizzy. Oh, I guess he just triggers it anyway. This is like mandatory. Alright, this time I'm just gonna wait it out. Heh! <laughs> wait it out, get it? Because it's Tomb Waiter. Man, I'm not funny, I, I apologize. Boink. Oh, this looks long and boring. That's what she said. When she had sex with you last night. Oh. Did I just give him a compliment and an insult in this in the same sentence? I think I did. There's the ending. Hey, you stay away from me. And with that, we now got a hundred percent. All we have to do is backtrack to get the blue gem, or the blue gem, the relic, the blue gem that we already have. There we go. And ba ding. And cup chin. Yeah. So now we can do the level known as Engine, or the boss known as Engine. And it's a Coco boss level. Zroom. See, this world's Coco. Oh, you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who's obsolete. I'm pretty sure you'll be obsolete because I'm gonna delete your ass. Alright, so you gotta hold down R1 again. 
just gotta get used to the control. So he has a Gatling gun. My issue is the controls are reversed, so it's like, oh. Just hit him wherever it's glowing. And then just avoid him. I can't believe I took damage from that, man. Okay, you can't hit him in the belly, though. I'm like, for a minute, I thought you couldn't. Up, oh, down. Avoid the missile. The best idea is to take out the weaponry on, like, top first, just because it gets annoying. So to defeat the boss, you literally have to defeat his different weapons. So there goes one of his turret, or one of his Gatling guns, I guess. It's really technically a turret. Alright, that, you can now... Don't hit me, please. There we go, another one's down. Like, he'll eventually start falling apart all at the same time, like that. See what I mean? Sorry, my computer was falling asleep, so it's like, uh-oh. You wanted to cancel out my recording of this. Oh god, so many missiles. There we go, now I'll have less missiles. Well, for the most part, at least. There we go! He's dead! Well, not quite. It's like, oh hey, surprise! He's easier than he was in uh, the previous games. Oh, apparently that attack can't be killed. Alright, run! Oh god damn it, the missile got me. Destroy everything that he cares about. So, his weapons. Can I actually destroy that thing at all? Nope. No, you can't do barrel rolls or anything like that. There we go, that's one weapon down. These things shouldn't have much left in them either. Frick. Uh-oh. Down to 4%. God damn it, so many of them. No, we went down. And I believe you have to redo the entire boss fight, right? Yep. God, that part is just so annoying. It was, the, it was the Gatling guns that got me a lot last time. I barely hit him. Alright. Oh, how did you go into that, Coco? Like, seriously. There we go. We already got one, rid of one of his rocket launchers. Barely hit that, man. There we go, another one bites the dust. Now he's only got his belly one left. I wonder if he can actually destroy the belly one. Like, without destroying all the other parts. I don't think you can. I think it's like, as long as it took damage, you can destroy it after you destroy everything. Nope, never mind, you can. There we go. Just one Gatling gun left. I didn't realize how big this boss fight actually is compared to all his other fights. And there we go. Phase one done. We might have time to do one more level in this episode. Depending on how well this goes. Okay. Don't want to get hit by that thing. That thing Side guns are actually really easy to destroy. Never realized that. Already destroyed. I think these pieces are weaker. Because there's more of them, right? I feel as if this fight is going a lot better than it did last time. Why is it taking so long to destroy some of these? No! Man, 
go. Uh oh. No! Why does it? Like the the whole looping around there sucks. Why can't we have Aku Aku for this to give us like 200% health? You gotta like angle everything just right, you know? Okay. Can you stop hitting me with that goddamn attack engine? There we go. There we go, and the belly part's already destroyed too. There we go, sentries or Gatling gun destroyed. Could be a sentry gun as well. Overwatch. You know, stuff like that. And there we go. I like Coco's face though, she has like a visor. is destroyed. There we go, that electric pulsar is destroyed. Ow, come on, man. He has a worse than Dick Cheney right about now. There we go, one of them's destroyed, so luckily he'll now shoot less. Oh, those things do so much damage. Those weird pixelated things of death. Oh, they can be destroyed, you just gotta be really still. There we go. There we go. And there we go, engine is destroyed. Ah, not again. <laughs> fruit bazooka. To fire fruit at a target, hold L2 to raise the gun. Aim with the directional buttons and press circle to fire. Sweet. So no, we're not getting another level done in this episode, but we did have an eventful episode. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. Wah! For this we must destroy you! <laughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? I don't know, he doesn't sound very confident, so I don't think he will. But with that, World 4 is done for now, until we come back to it. So in the next episode, we can start off World 5, where the 5 remaining crystals are. So what levels we have here are, Gone Tomorrow, a future level, Orange Asphalt, a racing level, Flaming Passion, a um... What do you want to call it? Indian level? Arabian level, there we go. Mad Bombers, a crash plane level. And last but not least, Bug Light, the only bug ruin level I guess in the entire game. So if you like this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!